is the king, the all-knowing, the wise. Lo, the nightingale of paradise singeth upon the twigs of the tree of eternity, with holy and sweet melodies, proclaiming to the sincere ones the glad tidings of the nearness of God, calling the believers in the divine unity to the court of the presence of the generous one, informing the severed ones of the message which hath been revealed by God, the King, the Glorious, the Peerless, guiding the lovers to the seat of sanctity and to this resplendent beauty. Verily, this is that most great beauty, foretold in the books of the messengers, through whom truth shall be distinguished from error, and the wisdom of every command shall be tested. Verily, he is the tree of life, that bringeth forth the fruits of God, the exalted, the powerful, the great, Bear thou witness that verily he is God, and there is no God but him, the King, the Protector, the Incomparable, the Omnipotent, and that the one whom he hath sent forth by the name of Ali was the true one from God, to whose commands we are all conforming. Say, O people, be obedient to the ordinances of God, which have been enjoined in the Bayan by the Glorious, the Wise One. Verily, He is the King of the Messengers, and His book is the Mother Book, did ye but know. Thus doth the Nightingale utter His call unto you from this prison. He hath but to deliver this clear message. Whosoever desireth, let him turn aside from this counsel. And whosoever desireth, let him choose the path to his Lord. O people, if ye deny these verses, by what proof have ye believed in God? Produce it, O assemblage of false ones. Nay, by the one in whose hand is my soul, they are not, and never shall be, able to do this, even should they combine to assist one another. O Ahmad, forget not my bounties while I am absent. Remember my days during thy days, and my distress and banishment in this remote prison. And be thou so steadfast in my love, that thy heart shall not waver, even if the swords of the enemies rain blows upon thee, and all the heavens and the earth arise against thee. Be thou as a flame of fire to my enemies, and a river of life eternal to my loved ones, and be not of those who doubt. And if thou art overtaken by affliction in my path, or degradation for my sake, be not thou troubled thereby. Rely upon God, thy God, and the Lord of thy fathers. For the people are wandering in the paths of delusion, bereft of discernment to see God with their own eyes, or hear his melody with their own ears. Thus have we found them, as thou also dost witness. Thus have their superstitions become veils between them and their own hearts, and kept them from the path of God, the exalted, the great. Be thou assured in thyself that verily he who turns away from this beauty hath also turned away from the messengers of the past, and showeth pride towards God 
from all eternity to all eternity. Learn well this tablet, O Ahmad. Chant it during thy days and withhold not thyself therefrom. For verily God hath ordained for the one who chants it the reward of a hundred martyrs and a service in both worlds. These favours have we bestowed upon thee as a bounty on our part and a mercy from our presence that thou mayst be of those who are grateful. By God, should one who is in affliction or grief read this tablet with absolute sincerity, God will dispel his sadness, solve his difficulties, and remove his afflictions. Verily, he is the merciful, the compassionate. Praise be to God, the Lord of all the worlds.